I'd made a big mistake. Santiago Sierra led me outside, and I got my first right royal bollocking by a top international artist. He says, no way, no? Immediately, no? The problem was when you established a, a strong connection between what, both, both uh, things, because the, the artist was convinced to make it. The artist was asking for permission. No? <laughs> I thought it'd be, they'd obviously understand what the, the two pieces were about. I, I don't want to make you feel bad, but it's not... Next time, let me, let me finish and resolve the piece, and then you have questions. Okay, okay. I thought that, no, that, I, would, I I thought was, that would help, telling them that there should I be a balance. I was just trying to talk about, about the other piece, not about this one, and to try to... So it's, it's, not, my, it's not my first uh, <laughs> to try to make something a little bit difficult, no? But, Sorry. <laughs> That's shit happened. No? Uh. The artist wanted to get his breath back. We went to a hotel by the sea to calm down. I was about to learn the secret ingredient in Sierra's works of art. Curators weren't swayed only by the minimalism of his work and dealers weren't enticed solely by the demand of the art market. There was another reason why Sierra got away with it so often. What you want is to make your piece and you don't care if you had to lie or you had to, to hide your intentions or whatever. No? And it's a, it's a methodology of work. No? Sometimes you are working against the will of the curator or against the will of the institution, or sometimes you have to, uh, you have to directly keep lying no, about what, I, what you are going to do because I, I don't I don't win nothing if I get a if I get a problem with the curator or the or the institution. No?